Sagittarius, hello, how do you do? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii, coming at you to give you your general love reading. I hope all is well with my beautiful Sagittarians. Let me light some incense for y'all. Mm -hmm. How y'all doing? Happy 4th. I hope everybody has cool plans. Be safe tomorrow now. Stay away from them firecrackers. Unless you're a professional. Don't hurt nobody now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I hope good. All right. Incense is lit. Let's see what we got. So first of all, personal readings. Email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com for personal readings. That is Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. I do ask for about one to two weeks to get you the reading. If you would like it expedited, you can pay an expedited fee and I'll get you the reading within 24 hours or by the next day. All right, so that's Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. I look forward to connecting with your energy, okay? Don't forget, following this reading is going to be the extended. In the extended, it's going to be over on Vimeo. The link is in the description box below for you. We're going to pull your person's cards, see how they feel about you, see what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you, and we'll also get advice for you from the universe. So I look forward to seeing you over on Vimeo. The link is in the description box below. And um, yeah, hope to see you there. All right, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That is Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. All right, I'll make sure I put that in the description box as well for you below. That is Miss Hawaii Tarot. And I also have my Facebook link. I've started a Facebook page for Miss Hawaii Tarot. That is also in the description box below, all right? If you're not a member yet, please click that join button and become a member. You get access to secret readings throughout the week. All right, shout out to all my members. I love you guys so much. Click that join button and become a member and support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, Miss Hawaii Scorpios, okay? If you have Scorpio in your chart, if you're interested in Scorpios, or you just want to support, um, you can go ahead and subscribe. I have the link down below in the description box for you. It is Miss Hawaii Scorpios. I should be adding a new video coming up really soon, something special I'm cooking up, all right? So um, I hope to see you guys over there. Donation info is in the description box below as well. All your donations go towards tarot decks, tarot crystals, sage, candles, incense, anything to help me help you. All right. So I appreciate all of your donations. Thank you to everybody that left tips, super chats last night and the late night tarot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are amazing for that. Okay. So I'm going to start doing that from now on for the late night tarot. I'll do take five super chat questions and um, that's the most because I'll be there all night. <laughs> And uh, we'll go from there, okay? So thank you to everybody that has shown love and, you know, like, subscribe, that watches my videos. You guys are awesome. Let's see what we got. What do we have? How is, um, how are my Saggies feeling? How are my Saggies feeling in love, spirit? Please show me. Thank you for a clear and guided reading for all my Sagittarians. How are they feeling on this holiday weekend, Sag? How y'all feeling in love? Let's see. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, this, ooh, eight of coins in reverse. So a lot of my Sagittarians with the Knight of Cups. Oh shit, who is this? I feel like a lot of you guys are actually <laughs> practicing um, working on yourselves. I like that energy. Queen of Coins, wow. Your money look good, Sag. Okay, with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys are more focused on your bread. I like that, more focused on your coins. Um, you're not really focused on love, some of you, or giving anybody your cup of love right now. Um, I'm seeing a Sagittarius here that's really trying to work on their business, maybe get their business started, um, and really just trying to stack their coins, which I like. The Hangman in reverse, okay with the five of cups. All right, so there was definitely some sadness here from a past, a past situation. Maybe somebody here, you know, the five of cups is about sadness, regret, loss, okay? That's my tears card. Um, the hangman is in reverse. So I feel like it could have been somebody here that really wasn't given to this connection the way you were and you guys kind of got fed up. Um, no longer waiting on this person, no longer standing around. Um, I feel like there was some sadness in your past, Sag, and it had to do something here with losing somebody, okay? The Ten of Wands. All right, so some of my Sagittarians, you really are. Yeah, the Ace of Coins is in reverse. So when I see that, I automatically think, okay, there's a new beginning coming. Um, 
or you somebody some of you guys are just working hard towards some type of goal spirit said just keep going okay you know what i mean i know it may be hard right now but you're definitely going to um it's definitely going to pay off for you keep working hard the queen of swords in reverse oh shit sag with the ace of coins again in reverse on the bottom of the deck okay that could be your person there um some of you guys, there may be somebody here that was pretty toxic. Could be an air sign. Okay, I'm seeing some fighting for you guys, some of you in the past. Um, something very toxic, a lot of trauma to, in this relationship. And I feel like you guys are trying to just, um, you know, awaiting something new. In the meantime, you're working on yourself, working on your coins. But I see a toxic situation here. We'll, we'll just flipped over. Where did it go? Something flipped over. I saw it. Here it is. The Ace of Swords. Oh, and the Seven of Swords. This, the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. Um, Ace of Swords is about a breakthrough from the universe. Okay. So this could be the universe here dropping some knowledge on you here. Maybe it had to do with this past person. Some of you guys are coming out of a time from healing. Okay. Okay. There's your Ace of Coins. Upright this time. Okay, there's a new beginning here, and it's right under you working hard. Six of coins in reverse. For some of you, there was a past situation here, but you overly gave to it. Nobody here was giving to you. I'm seeing a Sagittarius that was helping. See the lovers in reverse behind it. Could be a Gemini you were dealing with here. Okay. Um, I'm definitely seeing a separation. Definitely seeing a separation here. Um, it seems like spirit is dropping you with a new beginning, which is beautiful. That's exactly what you want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, something very stable and secure. Some of you guys have a new job coming in, a new business opportunity coming in. Um, I just really see a, a past situation, Sag, where you were not needed halfway here all right show me the eight of coins and reverse some of you guys were dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio the six of swords see this is you moving on here sag moving on feeling like spirit is guiding you you know what i mean you got your spirit guides all around you here and it's for the better the devil Ooh, could have been a toxic situation okay some of you guys it was a sex relationship you know what I mean? It wasn't going anywhere. There was no commitment. Others of you, a lot of fighting, toxicity. Could have been cheating, okay? Deception with that devil card. That's the Capricorn card. And the five of wands in reverse. You see what I'm saying? This is you deciding to put yourself first now because you want your peace of mind. See, page of pentacles. Some of you guys are going back to school. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you've decided to flip your energy here. Why should you keep on investing in somebody that's toxic or a situation here where the other person is not giving to it? Because it seems like this person wasn't putting in any effort. Sad. You know I'm going to keep it real with you. And they seem toxic. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn here. But I feel like you decided to move on from the toxicity. Some of you guys, this was a very unhealthy attachment for you with the devil card this person could have been like an addiction to you for some of you but i feel like you have decided here to move on from that it may have been hard it may have hurt you may have cared about this person deeply but you needed to be okay sad you get what i'm saying show me the queen of coins please then the nine of cups okay your happiness your happiness the four of coins in reverse okay releasing and the five of wands again in reverse with the tower in reverse on the bottom of the deck some of you guys absolutely avoided a disaster with this person because if you would have stuck around shit probably would have even blown up in your face even more and you know that um because i'm seeing a sagittarius here that's just avoiding conflict it's like I want to be happy, and if you're not giving me, you're not making me reach my ultimate happiness, 
<laughs> giving me my nine of cups, I got to release you. Let's see the hangman in reverse here. Some of y'all cut somebody off with that queen of swords in reverse, male or female. King of Swords. Didn't I say it? Some of y'all are dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Eight of Swords in reverse. You freed yourself here. Some of you guys did, like I said, you did feel bounded, binded rather. You felt bound rather. Um, you know, really attached to this person in an unhealthy way. And you had to free yourself. And you did. You did. You realized you weren't happy. Four of Cups. That's about being discontent. And the five of cups is in reverse. So this is about, I. it hurts. I cared about you. I loved you. I know it's going to hurt. First couple weeks, some of y'all days, some of y'all months. But I have to move on and I have. I'm no longer in pain anymore because I have to choose myself. Maybe some of you guys did go through the dark night of the soul journey. And you really looked at this relationship, this connection from another perspective. Show me the king of swords. The five of swords in reverse. Ooh, yeah, you gave up here. You're not fighting anymore for something. Seven of wands in reverse. This is y'all. This is you being the king of swords, cutting somebody out. Thinking logically, not with your heart, but thinking with your head. Show me the ten of wands. The chariot in reverse. Cancer energy. Five of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all, this person really did a number on you. The devil is here again. With the Queen of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys, this person... There could have been arguments here. A lot of arguments with you and this person. I see a Sagittarius that was very stressed out because of this. The chariot is in reverse. Some of you guys were dealing with the cancer. That means that you got to the point that you realize that this is not worth fighting for anymore. You're not going to proceed with this because I see you stress. I see you carrying mostly all of the load here in this connection. And the devil is here, Capricorn energy. Person was playing you like a puppet, some of you. Like a puppet, you were like a puppet on a string for this person. Not all of you, so don't leave me a comment. I mean. Show me the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Four of Wands. Ooh. Some of y'all really felt this was your soulmate here. At one point, maybe in the beginning when things were good. Now I see you, yeah. Three of Cups. Oh, hell no. With the Emperor in reverse. Some of y'all, this person might be trying to um ask you out. Maybe trying to see you again. Show me the Three of Cups. Three of Wands in reverse. Some of y'all, this person is still kind of stuck on you. See, the Six of Cups is here. This could be you still thinking about them. Page of Swords. And they're watching you. Definitely keeping their eye on you. Nine of Cups could be wanting sex from you. Mm. Some of y'all, this person may be trying to um still see you or still be in your energy. But I feel like this person toxic. Three of Cups. I'm seeing a lot of you guys like socializing. Some of my Saggies are socializing, hanging out, trying to meet people. There's your... Your major arcana card, Temperance. With the Ace of Swords, again, wow, from two different tarot decks. Beautiful energy. So I feel like some of my strategies right now, um, not all of you, Ten of Cups are in, is in reverse. You're trying to keep the peace here with yourself. You're trying to stay in balance with the Temperance card, your major arcana card, Sag. You're trying to keep your peace. You're trying to stay grounded. I feel like the universe has been dropping all types of downloads on you. Um, when I say that, I mean like knowledge.
because sometimes we get something in our head and we're like, oh, where'd that come from? You ever had that ever happen? Those are your angels. Spirit just saying, oh, here you go, Sag. And I feel like a lot of you guys have really decided. Show me the three of cups. Some of y'all have like some ideas that you've been brewing. Maybe you're working on a new business. The Knight of Swords. So somebody here is trying to hang out with you. Um, they're trying to engage with you. This may be this person here that you decided to kind of let go. Um, others of you, this could be somebody new coming in. Okay. Moving kind of quickly too. Could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Some of you guys met somebody while you were out. I like the Wheel of Fortune with the chariot in reverse. You're unsure about this person. Some of you, this may be somebody new. Um, there may be some conversation here. Maybe somebody you met while you were out. Some of you guys went to some type of event. The Three of Cups is about a celebration. Show me the Four of Swords in reverse. The King of Wands. Okay, yeah, you got somebody here. Some of you guys, it's a fire sign. Another fire sign. Oh, some of y'all done got nasty with this person. Done had sex with this person. Okay. Some of y'all dating somebody new. Mm-hmm. Seeing somebody new for a lot of you. Could be another fire sign. Maybe another Sag, if not a Leo, Aries. I'm seeing that since you let this other person go, there's somebody new here for some of you. Some of you guys have been sexually intimate with this person. The fool. Yeah, it's somebody new here. Now, this can also be... Oh, hold on, y'all. Battery low. This could also be you taking a leap of faith, ready to date, looking good, looking hot. But I feel like a lot of y'all... Show me the Ace of Wands. There's somebody new around, y'all. Mm -hmm. Page of Swords. Yeah, there's somebody new here that's very interested in you. Now, I feel like a lot of y'all are coming up as the Queen of Swords in reverse. Maybe you're kind of guarded because of what you've been through in the past. You don't really trust people, Sag. But I feel like this person is very interested in you. Could be an Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini, or it could be a fire sign. Another fire sign. Show me the Ace of Coins. The Six of Cups. Wow. The Three of Swords. Okay. Okay. I am still seeing heartbreak, though, from your past. I am. And I feel like with this new person, because some of you do have somebody new here, um, you're indecisive a bit. And look at you, Queen of Coins again from two different tarot decks. Your money looks real good, Sag, whatever you're doing. Um, you're still kind of heartbroken here from, the, from whatever happened to you in the past. Show me the Three of Swords. Strength card, Leo energy, see? With the Knight of Wands in reverse. So yeah, somebody, this person from your past did a number on you. So I feel like a lot of you guys are still healing from heartbreak from this person. So maybe you're a little bit scared, a little intimidated here. That's why you're coming up as the Queen of Swords in reverse to start something new, to trust this person. Show me the Two of Swords. But this person is very interested in you, Sag. The six of coins in reverse. You're scared here that it's not going to be an equal give and take. The devil here on the bottom. Or you're also scared here that this person may end up being toxic. But I'm not getting that energy. I'm not. I feel like you're going to be in the same situation where, you know, you were giving more. But it's not going to be like, I'm not getting that sad. But let's go into the extended. We're going to pull the... um. This past person's cards, see how they feel about you and what actions they'll be taking. And then we'll also look into the new person because a lot of you do have somebody new here. Um, maybe you haven't met them yet, some of you, but there is absolutely new energy. And I'm happy for you, Sad. You deserve it. It's time. <laughs> All right. So I love you guys so much. And um, I'll see you in the extended. Thank you for being here. If not, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a happy fourth.